just Ethan health wise, you know, how are you feeling and you know how, how long has part of the spring, you know, did it take you to to where you were kind of full speed? Um, I feel really good, cleared, completely healthy, collarbones hundred percent, no restrictions, no more shoulder sully for the, the old surgery last year. So I'm pretty much hundred percent ready to go for the fall. And Ethan, I, I guess it's plenty of veterans and college experience in the room to, to help you and, and for you to lean on what's it been like learning from McCollin and, and Jacob and kind of what's been their message for you? Um both of those guys are like extremely great leaders. I've definitely learned a lot from them. Just learned how to leave young habits for young kids and learn how to grow into that role that I have to grow into in order to be ready to play this fall. Ethan, we you got here coming off the, the shoulder surgery last fall and mm-hmm. the spring team gets hurt again. Were you, were you initially worried that it's kind of a little bit that it happened again or did you think it would be sort of like a few weeks and you'd be good to go? Um, I, I kind of knew like I already knew that I was going to bounce back from it. I mean, this is not my first injury. I've done the rehab. I've gotten the surgery. Like, I've already done it before. So I already knew that as long as I took the steps that I needed to take in order to get back 100%, then I would come back perfectly fine. How did that impact your time between spring and, and camp where you mm-hmm. had maybe you could work out as much as maybe you would want mm-hmm. to with the shoulder? Where you, you uh, I mean, yeah. it didn't really, like, it affected a little bit. But, like, it was so much time. Like, it happened so early. So I really still had my whole summer. Like by the time summer came around, like I was already ready to go because we got that break after after the spring game. So by the time summer came around, I was already like ready to ease my way back into lifts and start running more. So it all kind of just the timing was was good. You know, it was an unfortunate event, but everything played out perfectly. So Adam and Casey and Paige, when you would watch Tennessee games over the past season or so mm-hmm. and see how they would utilize their tight end. Um, I just saw like the diversity of how they used the tight end. Like there were so many different positions. You know what I mean? Like Princeton from throwing the ball to to getting a sweep. You know what I mean? And then catching the ball. And then Jacob. You know what I mean? Just being a great blocker, catching the ball, finding great space. Just already knew coming in that they were going to use me the way that they wanted to use me and the way I wanted to use me. So it was just a good like a. Mm, both sides understood like what kind of player I was and how to use me. What is it about your ability as tight end that makes you feel you can fit into the position inside this offense specifically so well? Um, I'd say definitely like my route running ability, you know, playing receiver in high school. And then just being able to have Coach Abes teach me how to block, you know what I mean? How to really understand inside the box. So I just feel like I have the tools to be able to work out in space and learn from what I already know, and then having Abe's being able to teach me everything that I need to learn inside the box and how to block good position, good technique, and things like that. How beneficial has back here? How beneficial has it been for you to have a guy like Jacob Warren to learn after? I mean, Jacob. I mean, I've known Jacob since my junior year, like when I committed. So, like, just being able to know Jacob. I mean, like, you don't want to, like, you want to be Jacob Warren. You know what I mean? You want your son to be Jacob Warren. And so, I really look up to Jacob as like a big brother and a really like a really, I'm really proud of him. He's a great role model. I really look up to him. And Ethan, one of the most talked about plays from the spring game was uh, your catch on the sideline with uh, Nico's rollout. Take us through that call and how that all developed and how you look back on that play. So we got the play and then so um, I ran the route. And so when I was running, I seen Nico start scrambling and then Nico just pointed up and I already knew like I trust Nico. Trust everything he does, trust everything he knows. So once he pointed up, I just turned up field because it was scramble drills. So I just turned up field, threw it to me, had to make the play, made the play. Is that a normal thing to see from Nico? Yeah. Yeah. He's a high level, high level quarterback. Sure high level. Ethan, you talked uh, earlier uh, about your role. What, what role do you envision having this season as a freshman? Um, honestly, just however the coaches want to use me, you know what I mean? Wherever they put me out. Put me on the field to make the play. I'm gonna go make the play. As long as they trust me, then I trust them. And when you committed and, and signed, you were gonna end up playing for Alex Scully. So what's it been like now working with Coach Ablin and, and that transition and, and getting to know him on a better level, I guess? I mean, the transition was like, like really easy. You know what I mean? Just Abe's is a great guy. Like, great guy. 
But what makes him even better is he's a great coach and he knows how to teach and he knows his players and how they understand how to learn and things like that. He just knows, he knows how to learn his players and know how to coach. So that's what made it really easy. Rob, and we'll finish with Patrick. Ethan, you talked a little bit about Nico, but I'm, I'm sure you guys got to know Judge during the recruiting process, being committed for so long. But what's, how appealing was that to, you know, when he was you know, one of the top quarterbacks in the committee class, Chuck on board? What's it been like, you know, working with him when you guys were in the offense together? I mean, Nico's my guy, like, for real, for real. Like, I've known Nico a good amount. Like, we met during our seven on seven out in California. And I'm from there, like, we've always kept contact, kept communication. And then when he committed, obviously, I was definitely excited because we got the quarterback that we wanted. And I already knew that we were going to make plays together and we were going to already have that connection and that, and that team chemistry together to go out there and do what we know both of us can do. Patrick? He's coming out strong. Where are you at weight-wise now? Um, 235. 235. Did you, so. did you do much blocking in high school? Is that been maybe your biggest adjustment even going back to the spring? And how do you feel like you've come along in that, that area? Well, in high school, like, we did do a lot of, like, screens, you know what I mean, like bubble screens, and I was outside blocking. So, but it's definitely different, you know what I mean, in the box, on the line, blocking a 300-pound D lineman rather than a 175-pound linebacker, you know what I mean? But it just comes with me gaining weight, you know what I mean, and me getting stronger and knowing the techniques. And so it's been a really, a really good adjustment, you know what I mean, just being able to bang up, you know what I mean, in the box, you know what I mean, and see how it is inside of there. Thank you, Ethan. Thank you. Good.